annuities. We all know life insurance pertains to the years of ascendance and annuity to the years of decline. In this lesson, we will study meaning and definition of annuities, need and significance of annuity contract, structure of the annuities, classification of the annuities and annuity plans for the LIC. After going through this presentation, you should be able to explain the meaning and definition of annuities, discuss the need and significance of annuity contract, explain the structure of the annuities, state the difference between annuity contract and insurance policy, discuss the classification of the annuities, and explain annuity plans for the LIC and annuity taxation benefits. Bheer and Limaya Annuity is a contract where the annuitant agrees to pay to the insurer a certain amount either in a lump sum or spread over a period of few years and the insurer in return agrees to pay to the annuitant a certain sum every year either so long as the annuitant is alive or for such a period as may be determined by the contract of annuity. W. A. Dinstil Annuity may be defined as the payment of amounts periodically during the lifetime of the annuitant in consideration of the payment of an agreed sum to insurance company. Annuity is a contract sold by a life insurance company that provides fixed or variable payments to an annuitant, either immediately or at a future date. The recipient of annuity is usually known as annuitant. Annuity literally means an annual payment, but can be described as periodical payments depending on the status, time or life. The annuity is beneficial to those who do not want to leave amount for others, but to use their money during their lifetime. Alternatively, in case of bank deposits, a person may leave certain amount at early death or may suffer loss in living long due to stoppage of the money after a certain period. The payment of annuity generally continues up to death. The purpose of the annuity is protection against outliving one's income earning age. Nowadays, annuities are becoming very popular. This is due to many reasons like increasing life expectancies, need to maintain same life standard after retirement and meeting the medical needs in old age, etc. Four ways are suggested for providing the required support for persons after they cross the stage of active life, but in present times annuities are the best tools to manage old age requirements. The joint family system is now getting dismantled Due to successive partitions of agricultural lands over generations, lack of work opportunities in villages or hometown. Superannuation schemes. It is a source for providing financial assistance to the people after retirement by the employer. Social security schemes. Some schemes have been evolved so far with the active contribution of the government to provide for the retirement benefits for people who have crossed their working age. Annuity policies meet the needs of people not covered or inadequately covered under other schemes and are expected to become more and more popular. Annuities are also an important means of insurance and are based on the same fundamental principles. There are three kinds of annuities and each varies in how the money in an individual's contract is invested. First is fixed annuity. The money invested in this type of annuity earns a fixed rate of interest that is guaranteed by the insurance company. The upside is that there is no risk involved. Next is variable annuity. The money in this type of annuity is placed in investment options known as sub-accounts which are similar to mutual funds. Each sub-account has its own degree of risk ranging from aggressive growth funds to bond funds. The upside is that the investor has the opportunity to make substantial gains depending on the performance of his investment. Next is equity indexed annuity. In this type of annuity, the money is invested in a fixed account and the person may earn 
additional interest based on the performance of a particular stock index such as the Standard and Poor's 500 index, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the Nasdaq Composite Index or the Russell's 2000 Index. There are some differences in life assurance and annuity contracts. Some people even call annuity as the reverse application of the life insurance principle. Annuity is protection against living too long, whereas the life insurance contract is protection against living too short. The annuity contract liquidates gradually the accumulated funds, whereas the life insurance contract gradually accumulates funds. Payment generally stops at death in case of annuity contracts, whereas in life insurance the payment is usually given at death. The premium in annuity contract is calculated on the basis of longevity of the annuitant, whereas in life insurance the premium is based on the policyholder's mortality estimate. One can say that annuity is the opposite concept of life insurance. Both these contracts complete the economic program of an individual. Where life insurance stops, the annuity contract comes to the rescue of an individual. No doubt they are complementary. Different types of annuities were developed due to the variety of needs, interest and convenience of the annuitants. Classification according to the commencement of income Immediate annuity is purchased with a single premium. The first annuity installment will be paid at the end of one year, six months, three months or one month after the date of purchase, depending on whether the annuity is desired to be paid in yearly, half yearly, quarterly or monthly installments. In annuity due type of annuity, the payment of installments starts from the time of contract itself. The first payment is made as soon as the contract is finalized. In deferred annuity contract, the payment of annuity starts after a deferment period or at the attainment of a specified age by the annuitant. The premium may be a single or multiple premiums. Classification according to the mode of premium. In level premium annuities, type of annuity, a person deposits amounts periodically so that at the end he can get sufficient amount of annuity in equal installments. The annuity in single premium annuities case is purchased by payment of a single premium. Classification according to the numbers of lives covered under single life annuity and one single person makes the contract. This annuity is most beneficial to those who have no dependents and want to use all their savings during their lifetime. In multiple life annuities, more than one life is covered. Classification according to the disposition of proceeds. Life annuity offers a regular income to the annuitant throughout his life. No payment is made after his death. This annuity sounds disadvantageous in case the annuitant dies an early death, that is, before receiving all the amounts of the purchase price. In guaranteed minimum annuity, annuity payment to an annuitant is guaranteed by the insurer. If the annuitant dies before the specified period, annuity will continue to be paid up to the unexpired period. One very important feature of the annuity plans of LIC of India is that, unlike the foreign insurance companies, no distinction is made between male and female annuitants in respect of the rate of annuities. New Jeevan Akshay Immediate Annuity The purchase price is payable in lump sum and the annuity payment commences after one year, six months, three months or one month after the date of purchase. If so desired by the annuitant, payments can be made certain for five, ten, 15 or 20 years and thereafter so long as the annuitant is alive. Next is New Jeevan Dhara Deferred Annuity. Under this plan, the premium can be paid in a single sum at the commencement of the policy or in installments spread over the deferment period. The maximum deferment period allowed is 25 years. The single premium or the periodical payments 
accumulated to what is called cash option at the end of the deferment period. Next is immediate annuity with return of purchase price. LIC of India also offers an immediate annuity plan with a refund feature. In case of death of the annuitant, the purchase price is refunded. The annuity rates are varying from time to time and given rate may relate to a particular time. Annuity taxation is fairly straightforward at first glance. Taxes are deferred on annuity income as long as it remains in the plan. Deferred annuities have an accumulation phase and a distribution phase. Earnings grow on a tax-free basis throughout the years of the accumulation phase. In the distribution phase, payouts from these funds are made either as a series of regular payments over a specific period of time or as a one-time lump sum payment. Regardless of the form of the payout, some income taxes will be imposed on every annuity payment the owner of the plan, that is, the annuitant, receives from it. This is taxed as ordinary income determined by the tax rates in effect when he takes the payment. No capital gains tax break is available in this case. If a person invests rupees 100,000 in a fixed annuity that pays rupees 750 each month for his lifetime, beginning at age 62, he will receive the payments for 22.5 years, according to the life expectancy tables used by the Internal Revenue Service. Taxation of variable annuities takes into account the fact that the person invested in annuities does not know how much an annuity payment will be every month because the value of his investment will change as the market changes. In this case, exclusions are determined by dividing the investment by the period of time he expects to receive the annuity. An annuity contract containing a life element, that is, payable as long as the annuitant is alive, are not allowed to be surrendered for cash once the annuity payments have commenced. Immediate annuities cannot therefore be surrendered. However, deferred annuity policies can be surrendered during the premium paying state before the vesting date. The surrender values thus received are deemed as income in the year of surrender and fully taxed at the hands of the annuitant. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. The money invested in a fixed annuity earns a fixed rate of interest that is not guaranteed by the insurance company. Right or wrong? Wrong. Annuity is protection against living sub-accounts whereas the life insurance contract is protection against living too short. Right or wrong? Right. The money variable annuity is placed in investment options known as too long which are similar to mutual funds. Right or wrong? Right. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. In an annuity contract, the insurer undertakes to pay certain level sums periodically up to expiry of the specified term or up to death. Since at the early death of the annuitant, the insurer does not suffer loss, no medical examination is required. The age proof is essentially taken at the time of the proposal in order to determine the terms and amount of annuity contract. The annuity is especially beneficial to those who want to use their earnings and savings during their lifetime. There are some differences in life assurance and annuity contracts. Some people even call annuity as the upside-down application of the life insurance principle. Nowadays, annuities are becoming very popular due to many reasons like increasing life expectancies, need to maintain same life standard after retirement, meeting the medical needs in an old age, etc. Annuities can be classified in various ways, viz. 1. Commencement of income 2. Mode of payment of premium 3. Number of lives covered 4. Disposition of proceeds.
the dependence of a new tint may be at loss because the father who had accumulated a large amount could not use the funds due to early death and neither could the heirs inherit it.